day viewers, welcome to TSN Check with Hannah and Ketemina. As there is a widespread of misinformation and disinformation across various social media platforms, the stage media, Liberia's first fast-checking media institution, is providing verified information for the public. In this light, United Party, Mosorado County District No. 2 Coordinator and a member of the National Campaign Team, Angel Morris, has posted on her Facebook page claiming that 50 persons got killed at the party's headquarters while celebrating. On Monday, November 20, 2023, after authorities of the National Election Commission announced Joseph Numa Bwakai, political leader of the opposition United Party as president-elect of the November 40 runoff elections, an unidentified vehicle drove into UP's supporters while in a jubilant mood at the party's headquarters. After the incident, the Labura National Police posted on its Facebook page that a motor vehicle ran into serious celebrants of the United Party, thus injuring 16 of them. Again, on Tuesday, in a live press conference, the police confirmed three deaths, two males and a female. Police spokespersons, Mose Carter, disclosed that 25 people were injured during the incident. He added, the driver identified as Lawrence Williams is in police custody while on ongoing investigation. In Manuel Down, Mosorado County District Number 17 lawmaker elect also confirmed that TD person had died while seeking treatment. The Daily Observer newspaper also did an erect on its Tuesday, November 21 edition. With all of the available data, the claim that 15 persons died in the incident by United Party's steward is misleading. No one died on the scene, but there were three people who lost their lives while seeking medical attention. TSN have also checked a claim where former finance minister, now Bakodo County Senator-elect Amara Conan on November 18, 2023, posted that Warben suspended disbursement for Liberia. According to Conan's post, Liberia has been suspended because the government has failed to service its loan. The post has attracted 530 comments, 178 shares, and 1,600 reactions since we view it on Facebook. Excluding the post, there is a five-page PDF communication addressed to the current finance minister, Samuel Twe, signed by the bank's vice president of Western and Central Africa. To verify this claim, TSN contacted the Western and Central Africa external and corporate relations officer, Marcus Sa, through an email. Sa confirmed that the circulated information and the suspension of disbursement by the bank is true. TSM also contacted Samora Wodokori, Deputy Finance Minister, who said that the government of Liberia has not made payments to the World Bank. TSM has written the bank to verify the claim by Minister Wodokori, and a subsequent fast check will be done if the bank responds. We decided to look into the impact of the bank's suspension on Liberia by contacting former finance minister Buema Kamara. Kamara said the suspension will limit Liberia's capacity to borrow from other lenders. He added that the incoming administration will have to renegotiate with the World Bank to review the punishment. 
with the research done and the response from the bank, it is fact that Liberia is suspended because the country defaulted on its loans for over 60 days. Thank you for watching. See you next time.